my dad is uh, an older guy and he is really an amazing problem solver and I'm really interested in visual stuff. So it was this perfect timing in both of our lives, my dad being a little bit older, him being in Florida and him saying, hey, I, if you wanna do a project, let's do this project now. There is graffiti and notes and probably some blood from hammers getting hit on thumbs in all of the walls in here. <laughs> I feel my dad throughout the entire building. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why it's so special. I'm still really cluttery. I still have journals and scraps of paper. Try to avoid the computer as much as possible. I know that someone else could do what I do probably in five minutes with computer programs. There's people who are like, what? You need a tablet and you need a, a stylist. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Traveling versus being home has been a big factor in my life in terms of the way I'm living and the way I see myself wanting to live. I've always felt the most at home, it seems anyway, with a lot of other people around me and on the move. Lately, coming back and making work and work changing over the past few months, it has really changed exponentially. It's, it's nice to have some routine, even if it's only for a few months. It's nice to come back here and um, have a community, have neighbors, kind of be seen a little bit more. Being on the road, I still love it, and it's still the thing that drives me. But the idea of being home and having it be a home is something that I'm really, really more open to now.